Hello everyone, I am Alicia Cabrera, Executive Manager, Marketing and Loyalty at Caribbean Airlines. We are proud to represent our diverse region, our unique experiences and numerous festivals. So following on from Culture in the Park and Village Cricket earlier this year, we were excited to bring some of the leading chefs from the Caribbean to display their skills at our Flavor and Flora event, which featured a mix of our rich culture and cuisine. This is really a representation of our Caribbean culture. It's an aspect of Caribbean Airlines where we're really exploring cultural events throughout the region. And tonight we're focused on one of the best things about the Caribbean food. And we are having a great time with chefs across the Caribbean. Caribbean Airlines, they excel at showcasing the destinations that they fly to. They are well integrated to all the destinations. So this is an extremely welcome event. It's a confluence of good food, good drink, and of course, best of all, great people. Our food as a Caribbean base and as a Caribbean people can stand on any world stage. The flavors, the spices, the techniques, the traditions. This is an ongoing dialogue that we as chefs have having the opportunity to be able to showcase the talent, the skill sets. Grenada is known as the spice of the Caribbean and in my dishes are infused so many different spices but the one key thing that you cannot miss is our nutmeg and we pop that in our garlic sriracha sauce and we have a tamarind. We also add a coriander and a turmeric inside of the tamarind. Our national dish is cuckoo and flying fish. I twisted it in a vegetarian way and did a seasonal vegetable creole and then I did a ground provision cookie which is a spin on the traditional cookie. Caribbean food is very forward, very vibrant and full of flavor. Fresh herbs, fresh spices and when we use it, we use it correctly. Curry, potato, chickpea wonton with a roasted spice planting cream and that now I have on the top, it's a scotch bonnet okra chip and then just to finish it, I have a herb coconut oil powder, and that's the vegan option. Now jumping into the more Jamaican thing now, I have a jerk chicken roulade topped with a tomato ginger chutney, and below that I have something a little bit more refreshing that can ease the spiciness. I have a citrus cabbage slaw, and all of that is drizzled with nothing but shadow benny oil. I'm doing the pepper pot which is a Guyanese dish made with cassari. Cassari is made from cassava, so that's why I'm pairing it with cassava. I'm doing cassava like an oil down, so with coconut milk and all those flavors. So it's a traditional classic dish that we've kind of flipped it a bit. This is quite exciting for us. We were able to meet chefs from around the region as well. Chefs from Barbados and Grenada and Jamaica and Guyana. And we had a nice little meet and greet where we were able to really mesh our ideas and mesh our culture to find out that we're more similar than we think. Where we think along the same lines and we just want to do the same thing which is portray our culture, portray our creativity, portray food in its greatest form. What a wonderful initiative this was. I do what I call as a European fusion. So it's a European Caribbean fusion and that's where I get my inspiration for the flavors tonight. Everything was excellent. I thought the chefs really gave a good showing of themselves and represented their territory as well. And you had fun in the process, got to interact with peers, entertainment excellent. So you know what? Cheers, Cal. Well done. Wow, what a wonderful evening as the Caribbean Airlines Flavor and Flora Festival came to a close. And what better way to end than with an appearance by Soka superstar Marshall Montano. Always a crowd pleaser, soca icon Marshall Montano. We thank all our supporters and partners for making Flavor and Flora a great success. <laughs>